What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the best Anton Jameson build. Now Anton Jameson was a legit bucket for his entire career. Across his 16 year career, he averaged less than 15 points per game in a total of three seasons, his first and his final two. Drafted out of UNC, then traded on draft night for his college teammate Vince Carter, Twan started his career with the Golden State Warriors teaming up with the young Gilbert Arenas and Jason Richardson. He was traded in 2003 to the Mavs in a blockbuster trade and by season's end he was named sixth man of the year. He was traded to the Wizards and rejoined his former teammate Agent Zero and with the Wiz he made both of his all-star appearances. He then was brought in as a last ditch effort in 2010 to give LeBron a supporting cast to win a championship in Cleveland but they fell in the Eastern Conference Finals to the Boston Celtics. He stayed with Cleveland after LeBron took his talent to South Beach and was on the team for the season after that and the one after that as well, which happened to be Kyrie's rookie year. On his way out, Twan scored his 20,000th point as an LA Clipper, which is a near surefire way to get into the Hall of Fame as only Tom Chambers has scored 20,000 and not made the Hall. Unfortunately, he's not in yet and it'll still probably be some time before he gets in. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be power forward, hand in this doesn't matter. Jersey number also doesn't matter. I just chose four because that's the number he wore when he was on the Wizards. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the blue and green half and half pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the strength and vert physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to an 89. You're going to bring your driving layup up to a 69. Your driving duck up to a 50. Your standing duck up to an 80, and your post hook up to an 86, and that's going to give you 19 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to bring your mid range shot up to the max, max out your three point shot, bring your free throw up to a 70, and your post fade up to the max, and that's going to give you 17 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to a 54, and you're going to max out your post moves. And that's going to give you six playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're going to max out your interior defense. Bring your block up to a 72. Max out your offensive rebound. And you're going to max out your defensive rebound. And that's going to give you seven defense and rebounding badges. So 19 finishing, 17 shooting, six playmaking, and seven defense and rebounding badges is a total of 49 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with define. Height is going to be either 6'9 or 6'8. He was actually 6'8, but 6'9 is the better rebounder. So I'm going to give you the measurements for both. So if you want to go with 6'8, you're going to go with 280 pounds. You're going to max it out. And for the wingspan, you're going to go with 88 inches. Uh, so you are a better shooter, but your rebounding is going to be a little bit lower. Uh, and for 6'9", you're going to go with 279 pounds. Uh, I would go with 280 pounds, but there is legitimately no difference between 280 and 279 pounds. And he wasn't actually 280 pounds. I just needed to bring that interior defense up. So that's why we ended up going with 279 pounds or 280 pounds if we went with 6'8". And for the wingspan, you're going to go with 88 inches. So with this build, as you can see, the mid-range shot and the three-point three point shot are a little bit lower, but the rebounding is a lot better. And he was uh, a double-double figure. He was a 20 and 10 uh, scorer in the 2008 season. So that's why I wanted to go with the 6-9 build instead of the 6-8 build. But again, either is fine. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 94, a 70 driving layup, a 54 driving dunk, an 88 standing dunk, and a 91 post hook. For your shooting stats, you're going to have a 77 mid-range shot, a 74 three-point shot, a 74 free throw, and a 90 post fade. For your playmaking, you're going to have a 58 pass accuracy and an 81 post moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you're going to have an 80 interior defense, a 79 block, a 72 offensive rebound, and an 80 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym mat badge are going to be 63 for speed, 60 for acceleration, 80 for vertical, and 97 for strength. For the takeover, you could go with either or. Uh, he was actually a pretty solid spot up shooter, but also uh, he was a pretty solid post score as well. If you want to bring your shooting up, definitely go with the spot up shooter takeover. I think that that's the one I'm going to go with, but like I said before, both are really solid options. And the build is complete, and you have built an interior finisher, shades of Anton Jameson, Kevin Love, and Demontis Sabonis. 
Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're going to put consistent finisher on silver, pro touch on silver, put back boss on gold, contact finisher on gold, drop stepper on silver, deep hooks on gold, lob city finisher on bronze, and pick and roll on gold. For your shooting badges, you're going to put catch and shoot on gold, difficult shots on gold, flexible release on gold, corner specials on silver, deep fades on gold, and pick and popper on gold. For your playmaking badges, you're going to put Dream Shake on gold and Post Spin Technician on gold. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're going to put Brick Wall on gold, Chase Down Artist on bronze, and Moving Truck on gold. Alright everyone, this has been the best Anton Jameson build. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated, it helps out the channel overall, and you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.